Hello chess friends and welcome to Zadov's chess channel and welcome to the TCEC season 20 Premier Division. So, so far we have witnessed I think some wild games but uh, in the round 3 of this Premier Division one of the wildest things happened I think even in chess history. A game was played between Lofade and Stockfish and Inuni e in which no pawn trades were played. So not a single pawn trade, not e takes f5, d takes e4, no single pawn pawn trades uh, has been played in this super game I think it is really one of the historical moment I'm not sure how many games in chess history were played in which no pawns were traded I'm not talking about maybe a game in which you have delivered the checkmate in four in the beginning like in the scholars made this game uh, has been played for 96 moves and no single pawn trades were played be prepared this is really wild and uh, let's check out now the game uh, here as I said Stockfish played with the white pieces and Rofka with the black, black uh, with the white pieces as usual in the stop engine games we have the sound round one and why so uh, e4 played by uh, Rolf Hade here the uh, stockfish response with e6 the french d4 uh, d5 we have knight to d2 we have the so-called tarash variation after knight to f6 we have e5 advancing the pawn uh, this position has been played many many times in chess history knight to d7 and what we can notice again is the so-called block pawn structure you see we have a blocked center so when we whenever see uh, you see this block pawn structure we have this directed attack uh, white is continuing the attack towards the king side because the pawns are showing showing us basically the direction of the attack on the other hand black is trying an attack on the queen side with c5 uh, pawn breaker motifs in the game uh, bishop to d3 uh, we have b6 this move b6 is very important it's a very positional and pragmatic idea here by black because uh, what we can notice always in block pawn structure uh, in blo block pawn structure is that uh, one bishop is always bad from white perspective the bad bishop that we have is the dark square bishop uh, because many pawns you have placed on on a dark square so you see if you even if you manage to bring your bishop to f4 still it's blocked up by its own pawn on the other hand the bad bishop that black has is the light square bishop so it's blocked out by this pawn structure so that's why this b6 idea is an idea to trade off our bad bishop for a good bishop here on d3 this bishop on d3 of white is very active it controls both of this diagonal so that's why b6 very very uh, nice positional idea here in the game and knight to e2 and we come we have now bishop to a6 bishop takes knight takes a6 we have castling by rofhade and now c5 as i said no pawn trades will be played in this game uh, here uh, after f4 we have knight to c7 black is preparing here uh, the continuation of the queen side attack with b5 c4 b4 uh, c3 b3 ideas even a5 uh, a4 is a possibility so we're simply storming towards the queen side and black uh, white is trying to storm here with g4 f5 f5 ideas because uh, this pawn chain that black has here as a defensive setup is best to be broken uh here around the square f5 so that's why it's i think a very very intense game although it's a positional setup although it's a close setup i still think that both uh, both the sides have here good opportunities to win the game if you manage to find maybe some liberating tactics in the game uh, we have knight to f3 uh, played by uh, rofhade we have f5 very important move here by stockfish and nue because if you take uh, e takes f6 then knight to f6 could happen and you have really weakness here it's the weak e4 pawn and uh, we can cement our knight maybe around the centralized square we can really fix the position and still we can maybe bring our bishop to d6 and attack this f4 weakness because um, this is not a good setup anymore uh, we should try to keep the position in the center compact uh, here after the move f5 bishop to e3 was played and that's what i'm talking what, what i've talked about although here white is slightly better uh white has a space advantage of course we have an advanced pawn on the fifth rank which is basically pushing a little bit um, towards the, uh, the king or uh, the black's minor pieces the black's minor pieces are a little bit passive but when it comes to bishop's activity i still like the dark school bishop of blacks more because it controls this long diagonal as i said this bad bishop is simply blocked out by its own pawn so that's why c4 here 
Stockfish and any e locks further the bishop on e3. Here c3, fixing the position. Knight to b8. We're searching now for some ideas. Knight to c6, then b5, b4. On the other hand, a white is searching now finally for h3, g4, pawn breaks your motif. So h3 immediately by Rofhade. We have g6, uh, b3, trying to break the position, trying to crack the space advantage that uh, white has built here. Uh, pardon me, that black has built here. We have knight to c6 and now knight to d2. We have b5 simply pushing the pawn further here stockfish and then e stays with the king in the center which is not such a bad idea it's a pragmatic idea because sometimes in chess uh castling is sometimes losing a tempo and still this king is not in danger because this block pawn structure here this d4 e5 f4 this f5 e6 d5 setup is controlling the center very well uh, no uh, pawn breakthrough motifs in the center are possible no opening lines are possible no opening files towards the kings are possible so uh, staying with the king in center is perfectly fine here but also castling is perfectly fine because the game is simply too blocked out so that's why we should search really for some pawn breakthrough motifs in the game a4 was played Rofhade is trying to break the space advantage that stockfish has built here in the game a6 we want to hang on to our space advantage advantage a6 very important move and now king to h2 bishop to e7 uh, developing of course the minor piece we have queen to c2 and now king to d7 very very cool move here by stockfish and in e getting the king here on d7 really wild stuff of course the king is still not in danger but when we watch the spawn structure maybe in long terms there could be some tactical shots here somewhere uh, maybe uh, sacrificing a knight uh, maybe trying to get some kind of a pawn breakthrough motif here okay the king is not in danger but we'll see now uh, how bo both sides will continue this blocked block position here uh, in the game rook from f to b1 uh, here rufhad is trying to a battle here on the queen side because it's obvious that black has a slight advantage on the queen side so that's why uh here of how plays also a nice positional uh, positional move tries to first battle when we are uh, maybe the uh, when we have maybe defended the queen side then we could search for some g4 pawn breaks in the game queen to f8 knight to f3 here white remaneuvers the knight towards the king side again searching for some g4 ideas we have a knight to a5 and now knight to c1 here queen to um g7 we have king to g1 and now h6 uh, we have a uh, h4 which wasn't really the best of moves i think uh, by by the uh here my stockfish engine at home uh, is saying this is not a good move because the h4 move it's of course blocking uh the king side uh g5 but i still think that we have sort of a positional advantage around the around the square e5 so that's why we have an advantage on the king side so i'm not sure if uh, stockfish and any would have searched here with with some uh, for some g5 pawn break motifs okay the h4 move blocks a little bit uh here the square g5 it's perfectly fine but i think that's the side that white should have searched for some pawn breakthrough motifs not to block this king side so still a good position for both sides but as i said maybe uh white should have remaneuvered somehow the pieces towards the king side and search for some g4 ideas okay uh here knight to c6 but this is really complicated game you cannot just um, evaluate every move what happens if that happens from a strategical point of view it's obvious that maybe black is slightly better black has here made already progress on the queen side in the game we have g3 fixing the position and now a stockfish plays rook to b8 tries again to maybe even further play the move b4 so in the game bishop to d2 so that's why uh Rofhade blocks this move b4 uh, is defending the square very important move and now rook from uh, h to c8 and we have now a5 here Rofhade is trying now finally to block the queen side with the move b4 if that happens then the whole queen side is i think solved the problems on the queen side are solved we have a blocked pawn structure and again uh, i'm not seeing good ways how to make progress here for both sides because it, the position is so blocked out this is really maybe not one of the most attractive games to watch but it's from a strategical uh, point of view and from the strategical ideas of both pawn structure i think it's a very very instructive chess game so 
bishop to f8 we have b4 finally the position uh, on the queen side is solved now rook to e8 now it's time to uh, attack the king side so uh, here knight to uh, e2 we have h5 and here stockfish also blocks out the king side so we have now really uh, the wildest uh, position no pawn trades as i said in the beginning the pawn structure is blocked how to win such a game from white's perspective or from black perspective the only way to make progress here is obviously a peace sacrifice we should somehow search for peace sacrifices maybe give up a knight for two pawns and again uh, then maybe get two pawns rolling that's the main strategical idea or you can offer a draw and uh, make a draw here the relation here is about equal nothing went wrong for both sides but when it comes to positional understanding the stockfish and nue has evolved in such a great way uh, so that's why i think um, as you see now how stockfish will search for attacking possibilities that's why it's really the best engine here after move h5 we have bishop to e3 uh, queen to e7 king to f1 knight to uh, a8 Trying to remaneuver the pieces, trying to uh, get the pieces on better squares. We have king to e1, knight to, uh, rook to d8, king to f2, uh, king to c8, we have king to g2, king to uh, b8, we have queen to d2 rook to uh, d7 here stockfish and in ue is trying now to remaneuver uh, the pieces towards the queen side. What it's obvious that probably a sacrifice will happen around the square b4 that's i think uh, the square which is kind of or maybe here around the square d4 to, in order to get some kind of a pawn pawn breakthrough motive here it's uh, the only way i think to make progress or as i said you could uh, you could um, um, offer a draw and uh, it will be perfectly fine so rook from uh, knight from e to g1 we have knight to c7 rook to e1 uh, king to a8 knight to uh, h3 it is of course a very nice idea you could occupy uh, the weak g5 square but it doesn't bring you so much you're not attacking anything the king is here on the queen side so so far this maneuver is okay but without without any further progress so rook to b8 we have a knight to g5 rook from d to d8 and now king to rook to e2 uh, king to b7 king to h1 rook to uh, d7 king to rook to g2 uh, queen to e8 queen to f2 rook to g7 i'm not going to explain now really all of these ideas you see uh, it's really a positional positional struggle here rook to b1 king to uh, rook to king to c8 rook to b2 we have knight to uh, e7 and now after rook to a2 rook to a8 rook to a1 knight to c6 here finally stockfish is preparing this knight to b4 sacrifice you see many uh, pieces are aiming uh, towards this square in the game uh, we have king to g1 rook to b8 and now after king to h1 it finally happened here stockfish and he sacrificed the uh, sacrificed the knight maybe a better idea was probably for uh Rufale to somehow protect this b4 uh in the game as i said here knight takes b4 we have c takes b4 bishop to b4 and it's suddenly a much much better position here for black because this pawns will uh we'll get uh, we'll get them rolling these are really dangerous pass pawns if we connect them for instance on the sixth rank this is really really great so that's why it was a correct sacrifice here by stockfish and in e bishop to b4 we have knight to g1 here uh, stockfish and in e retreats with the bishop but now we can march on we can roll these pawns really really dangerous you see these pieces on the king side by white are not doing anything they're of course well placed but they are simply not attacking anything now here it's a clear path for these two pawns here um in the game rook to b2 we have c3 you see the rook, rook becomes an object of the attack and here uh, rofhade tries to block the pawns which is very good uh, it's uh, of course a natural idea whenever you see pawn storms you should block them or split them but you cannot split the pawn structure you would love to play something like maybe a3 uh, in order to um split the pawn here from from the b file and then uh, we could have two weak pawns but it's not a possibility you have advanced already your a pawn so that's why the only way to defend this position is to create a blockade against these two advanced pawns so knight to b5 we have a knight to e2 we have rook to uh, c7 and now queen to b1 we're trying finally to defend this position rook to b7 bishop to c1 and now rook to c4 you see how uh, stockfish and nue uses now every space that's left in the position rook to c4 such a great cementing move by the rook still this bishop is good it's protecting our uh it's protecting our b4 b4 pawn the rook is protecting i'm i'm sure that's rofhade in after this move uh, 
alert for maybe some rook to b4 sacrifices but still you're vulnerable to some attacks on the on the b file if you even take out the pawn with the queen then there are maybe some um, um, very dangerous discovered attacks uh, against the queen possible so that's why so far not possible after move rook to c4 we have queen to d3 knight to a7 uh, Stockfish maneuvers the knight uh, wants of course to take uh, the a5 pawn um, in the game bishop to e3 here uh, white pieces are really paralyzed the white cannot find any way uh, to include the minor pieces this knight as i said is simply too far away from the action and even this knight i'm not seeing good path where where to go with this knight even if you manage for instance to attack the b4 uh, b4 pawn still it's a little bit too slow because uh, stockfish again simply attacks now a new weakness it's the weak a5 pawn so in the game uh, rook to b1 knight to c6 knight to c1 now we have grabbed another pawn and we have now three connected uh, pawns for one uh, minor piece of blacks much much better position here for stockfish and any e here rook to a2 a king to uh, b7 rook to c2 and now queen to c6 knight to e2 uh, king to b8 knight to h7 attacking the bishop not a problem we can still go bishop to e7 this knight as i said it's simply not dangerous we have bishop to uh, f2 and now knight to b7 here stockfish and any e prepares this pawn storm with this three connected pawns and it's simply Simply a winning position for for any e so knight to g5 here a5 very very cool move bishop to e3 here uh, a4 uh, king to h2 now knight to a5 supporting simply our attack very very nice setup here bishop to uh, c1 we have uh, a3 uh, king to h3 you see now this pawns are storming really really bad position here for white the uh, uh, b3 we have rook takes um c3 we have a2 very nice move here after uh rook to a1 b2 of course uh, uh creating this fork bishop takes uh rook takes b2 queen to uh, uh queen to f3 bishop takes g5 very nice move because uh, we want to now go into positional trades of pieces this bishop is not so good anymore it's aiming into nothing so we have uh we got a nice activity when uh, we use this bishop in order to support our pawn storm now we're giving up uh, the bishop for a, a good knight after knight to g uh, uh, f takes g5 uh, queen to b5 here queen to d3 queen to b4 after trades of um, rooks again i'm pointing out no pawn trades have been played only uh pawns uh, were traded for uh, for some pieces uh, here in the game queen to c3 knight to uh, c6 after trades of queens it's really really a bad position we have two now pass pawns we can also play something like knight to c2 here knight to c3 here king to c6 uh, we have knight to b5 uh, king to c6 we have knight to c3 here king to d7 rook to d1 knight to d3 really cementing our position really nice outposted knight it's this octopus knight uh which is controlling this eight squares around it uh, so very very nice setup here by stockfish and in e so rook to a1 we have knight to f2 a check uh, king to g2 here again a very very uh nice discovered attack the knight is hanging here uh knight takes uh, uh, knight to e2 rook takes e2 uh king to f1 uh rook to g2 here after trades of rooks we have now this um, setup it's of course completely winning we can promote to another queen rook to b1 uh, king to e1 we can take but now we have a new queen a check and here after king uh, queen to d3 um, queen to b3 was played king to c1 we can uh, continue to push here c3 king to uh, queen to b2 and now after queen to d2 it was game over we've given that a fatality, fatality sound it was game over really really again nice attack but as i said it was a game in which no pawn uh, pawn uh, trades were played really incredible stuff i'm not sure how many of these games we have seen in which really no pawn trades were played if you maybe can find uh, a game in chess history please post me i would love for maybe also to cover it as i said 96 moves have been played without a single trade of pawns really really wild stuff and as i said stockfish and is in the lead of the tce uh, season 20 premier division and will probably even win this tournament so okay i hope that you enjoyed this game really really wild stuff happened now in the round three if you want to see more brutal attacks and more brutal positional brilliances like this check out my comment at chess games play by computers uh here's the link and if you want to see the humans battling in their best chess games check out my best chess games of all time series here's also the link and if you like this content you can also subscribe to my channel
see you soon with some more videos and uh, that's the bet of course